This is a fascinating time to be a pathologist. A lot of parts of the healthcare system are evolving right now. The financial side is evolving, the political side is evolving, the technology side is evolving, and we need to be where the healthcare system is going to be. Is Bay State a pioneer? I think we're certainly ahead of most other providers in the country in that we adopted health reform along with the state of Massachusetts many years ago, so we're in a sense a bellwether for the rest of the country. The answer to the efficiency problems in healthcare are going to be better application of science, uh, better application of genetics and molecular diagnostics, and that's going to trigger off a lot of what we call pathology. And we are using a lot of resources through the College of American Pathologists, the CAP, uh, to help transform ourselves into the pathologists of the future, which are really reinvigorating the patient care side of pathology, the patient interaction side of pathology, being seen as physicians on the healthcare team, and not just as something in the basement that is a technical part of the problem. 20 years ago, Pathologists were part of the multidisciplinary care of patients, but they weren't really part of the team. They were unseen by the patient and often unseen by the clinician. That's very much uh, a different story now. And so we need a collaboration not only in terms of in individual patient care, uh, but also in terms of an institutional and a disciplinary approach to how we diagnose and, and treat cancer. We're asking them to simply, to go beyond the simple provision of a test or performance of a test uh, and to work with our uh, practitioners to, to help us decide what's the right approach to testing, what's the appropriate algorithm, what test should come first, what should be second. So uh, we can no longer afford just shotgunning it and, and doing a whole bunch of tests together. We need to think of proper sequencing. What the clinicians are going to demand increasingly from us is to have all that information together. And this is something we've been stressing here at Bay State Health, is to give the clinician who has the patient in their office all of the diagnostic information together. Having the pathology department integrate all the components that they do yields a unified document. And that unified document uh, will lead to uh, better diagnosis, not relying just on morphology with a possible uh, uh, conflicting uh, molecular uh, diagnosis, but a consensus diagnosis uh, as well as the sense of prognosis and now increasingly a direction of therapy. In lung cancer there's been a, uh, a real surge of information having to do with individualized personalized medicine. It's such targets in, in lung, the popular ones right now are epidermal growth factor receptor, a KRAS and uh, ALK1 fusion gene product, and others are coming on board. And you look at the breast, we do the same thing. Traditionally, estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, now HER2 and proliferation indices in KI67. If we bring it into bone marrows and hematopathology, I can't think of a world that's more uh, reliant upon these advanced diagnostics. Everything from immunology with flow cytometry, which is absolutely necessary for making diagnoses in hematopathology. You can't do it without it. And now into cytogenetics, that again, one tumor may have a different cytogenetic profile than another, but it's the same morphologic appearance. I think we're going to see an, a strong evolution toward uh, more pathology-based uh, treatment strategies and less toward disease extent or stage-based uh, treatments. Uh, part of that will be driven by uh, new treatments, but all of it will be underpinned by the molecular tests that are performed by pathology. The future of pathology is in integrated services, specialty services, living at that interface between science and medicine and making that translation. We have all the nuts and bolts at Bay State Health to be a prototype for what healthcare is going to be in the United States. This is one institution that has been able to make these advances. Uh, one step forward, one step back, two step forward, one step back. We've made the advances and we've been able to go into the future. And now we're posed to be able to provide a lot more to the community at large uh, and also on the national scene, uh, both in education, in diagnostics, and in research. Those are the pillars of what we're doing. And I think that's the strength of our department and that's the strength of our institution.